हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज़ योर इंग्लिश लेसन स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल रीड यूनियन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन द सेवन वाइज मैन ऑफ वन ईयर फ्रॉम ऑक्सफोर्ड रीडिंग सर्कल थ्री सो वी स्टार्ट आर लेसन लॉन्ग अगो इन अ फार ऑफ प्लेस कॉल वन ईयर देयर लिव सेवन वाइज मैन सम मे कॉल दैम वाइज एंड सम मे नॉट You can decide. One fine day, these men decided to leave their wild native land, native in Bonn, wild native land, to seek their fortunes. The men were friends, and they had no experience of the outside world. They decided to travel in a group. They left their village at dawn. Dawn. early morning and walked south because it is easier going downhill than up they followed narrow narrow paths having a small distance from one side to other narrow paths through the mountains until they came to wider tracks they walked far and by evening they were tired they sat down under a tree to rest I hope we'll all hear," said the first wise man. There was no reply from the others, so the wise man continued, "If someone is missing, please put up your hand." No hands went up, so the first wise man was quite sure no one was missing. The second wise man was not sure about this and stood up. "Let's count to see if we are all here," he said. and he began to point to the others and count 1 2 3 4 5 6 the wise man forgot to count himself and he now looked very surprised there's one of us missing he said we are not seven we are only six nonsense what rot cried the, the others then all of them go to their feet and begin counting with uplifted four fingers but they each four go to count themselves the wise man of bonier became fearful what has happened to one of our member wailed one wailed to express sorrow who is missing asked another where have you gone to cried a third they looked up into the trees crawled crawled to move slowly with the difficulty crawled behind rocks and searched all over then they looked in the streams and among the fields of crops but there was no sign of their missing comrade comrade companion friend in a wide open pasture pasture last land covered with grass the wise man met a shepherd the men were all looking miserable the shepherd noticed their misery and greeted them politely my friends said he where have you sprung from sprung jumped quickly and why are you in such low spirits we are from banir replied one of the wise men we have lost one of our group answered the second there were seven of us and now we are only six replied the third alas 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 cried the fourth fifth and sixth have you seen any one of us in this place asked the seventh the shepherd looked astonished astonished surprise but he said seven you are my friends i have found your lost companion see the shepherd placed his hand on each man's shoulder and counted aloud 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 ah cried the seven man at last thank you dear shepherd you have indeed found our missing brother we must repay your kindness you have helped us so we insist on working for you for a whole month without pay the shepherd tried to hide his amusement amusement happiness but he was overjoyed with his good fortune 
That's kind, said he. I can do with help. Please come with me. The shepherd walked along the path to his hut and the salmon wise men followed. They soon reached the shepherd's small hut. The shepherd introduced them to his very old mother. He found them a place to stay in a large shed. And luckily for them, they all had some food left over for their evening meal. In the morning, the shepherd said to one of the wise men, You can stay here today and take care of my old mother. He said to another, You can take my goats to those hills nearby and graze them. Graze, large area where farm animals feed or fed on grass. Stay with them and watch over them carefully, especially in the evening. To the other five wise men, the shepherd said, I'll have work for you tomorrow. Today you can rest. I have some business in the town. I'll be back later. The men looked disappointed, disappointed, unhappy, sad. They sawed loudly and sat down in the shed. The shepherd set off for the town. Set off, begin a journey. The wise man in charge of the shepherd's mother found he had a lot of work to do. The old lady was feeble, feeble, weak and crippled, crippled, unable to walk or move properly. The wise man helped her to a cot in a shady part outside the house. The old lady lay down and was quite comfortable. However, the wise man found that thousands of flies began to trouble the old lady. He sat beside the cot and waved his arms in the air. But the flies kept coming. They sat all over the old lady. No amount of waving would keep the flies away. But the wise man kept at this task the whole morning. By midday, the wise man was tired and very angry with the flies. At this time, the shepherd returned from the town and came to see his old mother. Just then, the wise man sitting beside the cot felt he could stand the flies no longer. He picked up a large stone and aimed it at the flies sitting on the old woman's head. Walk! Down came the stone on the old lady's head and she tumbled out, tumbled having fallen. She tumbled out of the court. The shepherd ran to help his mother and wailed in despair. Alas, alas, look what, ha what you have done to my mother. You have knocked her, knocked her, strike a surface nicely. You have knocked her off the court. You haven't killed the flies. You have nearly killed her. How stupid you are. Luckily, the old lady was not hurt too badly. The shepherd dressed her injured head. Then he sat down with his own head in his hands and rocked backwards and forwards on his heels. Meanwhile, the second wise man of one year was up in the hills. He had led the flock of goats all over the hills. At midday, he sat down to rest and to eat his lunch. The goats rested too. They lay beside him and chewed the cud. Cud? Food? For animal? From time to time, they looked at the wise man. The wise man noticed this and began to wonder. Why are they chewing like me? Why are they staring at me? The wise man became angry and stood up. So he shouted at the goats. You are making fun of me? I'll show you. He picked up his small axe, raised it above his head and rushed at the goats. They saw him coming and fearful for their lives, ran this way and that before heading for home. The wise man ran after them, waving his axe and shouting loudly. The gods rushed past the shepherd and took shelter in the shed. The wise man arrived too, shouting and panting, panting, breathing with short, quick breath. 
What are you doing? cried the shepherd. Are you trying to kill my gods? Oh dear, what have I done to deserve this? Deserve to have earned or to be given with difficulty. The shepherd stopped the wise man from killing his gods. That night, the shepherd couldn't sleep. He was worried what the wise man might be doing. Before dawn, when the shepherd was still tossing and turning, tossing through somewhere lightly, he felt a tug on his shirt. The shepherd sat up. Round his bed stood the five wise men who had not worked the day before. Wake up, good shepherd, they said. It's now our turn. Give us some work to do today. The shepherd rubbed his eyes and although it was not cold, he shivered. No, no, my friends, said he. You have repaid me for the favor I did. Please, for the sake of Allah, go your way. Let me see you no more. A short while later, the seven wise men of Banir set off once more to seek their fortune in the world. Now, come to the exercises. A. Questions 1. Why did the wise men think one of their number was missing? Answer. The wise men thought that one of their number was missing because when they counted, they each forgo to count themselves. Also, when they shouted for the missing one to reply, no response came back. 2. Why was the shepherd astonished? Answer. The shepherd was astonished that he could see all seven men in front of him, but the wise man declared that there were only six of them present and that one of the seven men was missing. 3. Why do you think the shepherd shivered at the sight of the remaining wise men when it was not cold? Answer. Because the shepherd was already terrified of his experience of assigning tasks to the two wise men. The sight of the remaining five men asking him the other day to assign them a task made him shiver. 4. Why were the wise men sent away? Answer. The seven wise men were sent away by the shepherd because by keep Keeping them with him, he understood it would only cause him more trouble. 5. In your opinion, what would be the best way to deal with people who are not easy to deal with like the wise men? Answer. In my opinion, to deal with such people is not easy. To handle them, them wisely requires enough skills and strategies to cope with the difficult people needs wisdom and intelligence which the common man doesn't have. Secondly, leave them free to live their lives as they want. B. Words and meaning. Put the sentences in the correct order. Answer. The wise man decided to leave their native land. The wise man found one of them was missing. A shepherd helped the wise man. The wise man decided to work for the shepherd. One wise man hit the old lady on her head. Another wise man wanted to kill the gods. Some wise men wanted to work. The next day, the shepherd sent the wise man away. Thanks for listening. For new videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel. And if you like my videos, please share and like.